today I want to continue to talk about the Autodesk Flex system. And uh, today we're going to run through some common questions uh, as this is a new platform, as this has been rolled out for about a month now. Uh, we will continue to update these questions and kind of run through, uh, run through the platform, see what we can answer in greater detail uh, as more users get um, acquainted with the system and as uh, ATG gets acquainted with the system as well. So today we're gonna run through uh, some key common questions uh, for the, the Flex system. Uh, just a reminder uh, to go through the basic definition. What is Flex? It's a flexible product purchasing solution that allows users uh, to, to use a different sort of commitment uh, versus the uh, standard subscription model that Autodesk has. It's a pay-as-you-go pricing structure for the occasional uh, occasional users. Um, the main question, and obviously the uh, important question is, is pricing. How is it sold? Uh, what is the pricing for the structure? Um, it's sold in packs. The minimum purchase uh, is 500 tokens, um, which you can see is $1,500 uh, through, through ATG. Um, that increases uh, by levels of 500. Um, the largest purchase option we have right now and currently available to us is 50,000 tokens. Um, so uh, conversations you'll be having with your sales rep or your ATG CSR uh, will obviously be about uh, pricing, the structure, how many tokens you need, uh, how many you use on a day-to-day -day basis, and what that looks like. But uh, the pricing uh, structure is sold in packs, similar to the way uh, BIM uh, software is sold, but uh, these tokens are sold, sold in packs for purchasing. Uh, common questions, uh, how long can you use your purchase tokens? Uh, they are uh, set and sold in a, a year kind of structure. So one year from the date of purchase. If you do not use them, uh, they do expire. Uh, you cannot extend them. Um, there's no prorating uh, for these, these products either. Uh, so as with standard subscription, uh, you can do a one year or a three year. You can do some prorating. Uh, with tokens, you cannot. You have one year to purchase those, one year to use them, and you cannot prorate or try to align with subscriptions. The best thing you can do is work with your sales rep, uh, your CSR, and try to purchase those tokens the same day your renewal comes up uh, for expiration and try to get them aligned that way so you can have some better visibility into what that looks like. Uh, how are you charged for usage? Uh, when it is open, you have a 24 hour period uh, that the clock starts where that usage will be tracked. Uh, so uh, a user can go in there, uh, open it up at eight, work until 8 a.m., work until 12 p.m., close it down, go to some other projects, come back, let's say 8 p.m., work until 11 p.m. Uh, that would be considered the same day in that 24 hour period. But uh, if it goes from 8 and then 8 a.m. the next day again, that's considered uh, token usage, uh, basic one for AutoCAD. Uh, that would be seven tokens on Monday, seven tokens on Tuesday, uh, 14 tokens in that two-day period in that 24-hour that window. There is a five-minute error window. Uh, if, you, if a user accidentally clicks on a Flex token, they have five minutes to close it down, uh, and that product will not be charged uh, to your account for usage. Uh, can you restrict user access to products? Yes, you can. Uh, admins have been given uh, extraordinary rights when it comes to Flex, who can see them, who can use them, who can control them. Uh, you can mix and match subscription seats with Flex. So you can assign the same user Flex tokens and subscription seats, which they'll be able to use um, as needed when it comes to, to projects and, and what they're looking for. Uh, and then will you be notified when your tokens are running low? Uh, of course. Uh, the admin uh, and the user requesting will be given a notification uh, that tokens are running low. Uh, we are not aware of what that, that kind of baseline is, how low. Uh, is it uh, you know, 14, 20? We don't know what that, that size is going to be yet or what that time limit is. Uh, but as we get that information, we will certainly update these, these Q&As uh, and get some more information out. Uh, but you do get a notification that those tokens are running low so that if you need to re-up and purchase more, uh, you have a project that you need, there's a deadline, uh, you do have time to make that purchase and make sure you have tokens available for your team or for your users. Um, so once again, common questions, very high level. Uh, I encourage you to work with the ATG sales rep or your CSR, uh, get insight into your contract dates. Once again, uh, as I said earlier, they cannot be prorated. So it's crucial if you're trying to 
kind of have a nice clean look in your, your admin portal. Uh, try to align those dates as best you can with purchase times. Uh, talk to your rep and CSR review seat counts, review usage uh, to understand if this flex flex system is, is a good path for you. Uh, Autodesk has provided, uh, once again, that flex estimator that allows you to enter uh, the number of users uh, and time you think you'll be looking at to see if flex tokens might be a good system for you. Once again, thank you for your time today. Uh, high level common question and answers regarding the Flex system. Uh, if you have any other questions, I uh, want to get into more detail regarding uh, Flex tokens, please reach out to your ATG CSR or ATG sales rep. We'd be happy to help you and answer some of those common questions.